Hey, good morning and welcome back to the studio. Joining me here is one of my favorite guests, Paul Cohen of the Breckridge Fine Art Gallery. Good morning, you sir. You say that doing? to everybody. Only just, you only know, just only me? a few. The, okay. the select favorites, really. I accept. Thank <laughs> All you. Right. How are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah, a little tired. It's just yeah, been a busy sure. week with everything. Did you have a good time. holiday? I worked. <laughs> <laughs> As did a lot of the county, but it was still a good time out there. It was the actually, we're it was busy. packed. Yeah. Breckenridge is absolutely packed. I couldn't park. My wife drove around for looking for parking so I you can go to work. It. Right. You, can, you wouldn't doubt it. Uh, but, you know, a great time, especially in the summer, is to go visit on Main Street is the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery because you get your artists in and uh, you get to see some just great work, but also see them in action, mm -hmm. which is what is uh, is the case this weekend as yeah. well. So tell me a little bit about what's happening. It's what we call our Artist in Residence series. And okay. We actually invite artists starting this weekend, Friday and Saturday, every other weekend through the summer. We're going great. to have five shows where the artists come in, either a painter or a sculptor, mm -hmm. and they bring their studio into our gallery and they That's work great. live. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun because you get to watch the artist work, you get to talk to them, ask questions. Oftentimes, especially with the sculptors, with the clay, they just come on in and they get the kids in there and they get them working with them on there. Right, and sometimes with the paintings, you've told mm -hmm. stories where somebody has even been able to addition to the painting, oh, yes. even if it's in you know, some small way, but either way, you make your fingerprint on it, which is really neat thing to, to add to the piece. Yeah. This weekend we've got Michael Florin from San Diego mm -hmm. and he couldn't make it this morning. They got in late last night. But okay. he's an amazing artist. Right. He's, uh, he's already regarded as a living master and he's a young guy but super nice and he's a, what we call an abstract expressionist. Very impressionistic but he loves to just capture scenes of people living their lives. Yep. And he's so popular and uh, so well known now that we're delighted. We've carried his work since 2003. He's coming every year, mm -hmm. the first weekend in July. And he'll be there from three to seven each day. What's nice, uh, today we've actually got, he's done a whole bunch of the restaurants in Breckenridge over the years for us. Right, sure. He's done the Modus, he's done the Hearthstone, mm -hmm. he's done the Breckenridge Brewery. And this year, one of his favorite new restaurants we keep taking to is Le Petit Paris. Uh, <laughs> yes. And I've seen this one, yeah, yes. it's great. It's a beautiful painting and mm -hmm. that's gonna be there. We've got actually, more original oils than you'll ever see anywhere by by Michael Flo. We have ten original that's oils. Any. That's great. And three of his original drawings and uh, watercolors from his personal collection, and lots of the limited editions too. Yeah, and they are pretty amazing. So if you haven't seen some of his work before, we have a couple examples in the studio. Uh, you can see. Uh, the Eiffel Tower there, and it's just some examples of what he does and what his style is. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about people living their lives, I mean, you, he really captures what's yeah. going on. It's amazing in what he does with light and color, mm -hmm. and and just with some seemingly simple brush strokes. But yeah. to, I'll tell you, I cannot replicate replicate myself, but as most people can. So uh, they're just amazing pieces, and one of my favorite artists that you have at the Breckridge Fine Art Gallery. Tell yeah. me a little bit about what the gallery is like when you come in for the first time, and uh, what you can expect. It's, I think it's the largest gallery in Summit County, mm -hmm. without a doubt. We have two entrances right on the corner of South Park and South Main, so you can come off of South Park or South Main, right opposite from Main Street Station. And I think the biggest thing that uh, people are shocked at how much art we've got in there. It's not right. a huge gallery. I guess we're 2,500 square feet, but okay. I've got 500 paintings and well over wow. 100 bronze sculpture as well. Wow. And so the way the, the gallery is designed is you have to come in. You know, some galleries, you, you open the front door, you look in, and you can see everything. Uh -huh. This gallery, you've got to go in. There's rooms, there's nooks, crannies, sliding walls where you can just come in and explore. Yeah. And the most common thing we hear is people are shocked at how much of the art they love and would like to hang in their house. So we jokingly tell them to choose carefully because there's right. a limit of five. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, well, and there is some great variety and uh, selection there in what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. And it's just even excellent just to stop in and see what is going on. I love checking out the gallery myself. Yeah. If somebody is interested in coming in this weekend to see Michael Floor mm -hmm. at work, um, how do you describe getting there? Well, we're open 10 to 8, 7 okay. days a week. But the shows are officially from 3 till 7, Friday and Saturday, okay. this weekend, and then every other weekend with the next several, several shows. And people can go to BreckenridgeFineArt.com and they can see who's coming when. Mm -hmm. If you're on our mailing list, you'll get a constant contact with all the images of the new work. But come in any time. And of course, that's when, we'll, that's when he'll be working live and we'll have refreshments and everything else. And we really like families to come in. Kids are very welcome. We're a very family-orientated gallery. In fact, 
Yesterday, we had a lot of people, five, six-year-olds were bringing their family in because they wanted to come in. That's awesome. And it's nice. It's a, yeah. it's a beautiful place. It's like a museum, as you know. So. It's like a museum, but... But we sell different. the art. <laughs> That's right. You sell the art. And uh, as you say, I mean, not museum that, you know, you have to be so careful when you're walking in. I mean, no. you get to go check it out and explore, as you say, mm -hmm. and, and see all the artwork there. And you have some amazing pieces yeah. in there. It's a great gallery. We work with some wonderful artists. We're very fortunate. The owner, Jim Tillich, really knows his stuff, and he travels the world. And it's a delight to be there with these wonderful people. Yeah. It's a great stop. It's a must-see if you're in town of Breckenridge and you're cruising Main Street. Uh, you can see some of the examples of what the inside is like, whether you want to see uh, uh, sculptures uh, made of bronze, uh, paintings, you're mm -hmm. going to see it all there. We've got great etchings as well, pastels. Yeah. And that's the nice thing. A lot of our artists are, are museum people. Deceased, a lot of them. We even publish books. So if someone's looking for a nice art book as a gift, we publish several of our own artist books. Yeah, you'll. See, I'm sure anyone who's stopping into the gallery is going to find something that they would really want to hang on their wall. And uh, including Michael Floor, he does some uh, sketches himself mm -hmm. uh, in the single strokes. Oh yes, uh, love those pieces. They're amazing. Yeah. Paul, good to see you. Nice as always. to see Pleasure you coming in here. Stop on in uh, right on the south end of Main Street in Breckenridge. You'll find the Main Street uh, Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. Not the Main Street Gallery. That's not what it's called. <laughs> it's the Breck Fine Art Gallery. And uh, stop on in this weekend. Paul, We'd love to have you in. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with more. Jeffrey's hanging out at Grand Lodge, keeping out of trouble, I hope. So we'll have to catch up with him shortly. And uh, also another weather. We'll be right back.